Man, nothing soothes the soul like a nice, cool sip of Dr. Pepper. Hey, I'm Blake, Mr. Tailgate Talk. Hey, right behind me, we're here still here in Waco, right behind me is the Dr. Pepper Museum. If you've never been here, it's, it's actually pretty cool. On a previous visit to Waco, uh, we actually toured it, and uh, there's all kinds of Dr. Pepper memorabilia and merchandise, and uh, I actually am a fan, quite a fan of, of the Dr. Pepper. I um, actually got quite a few in my truck right now, so yeah, big fan of the Dr. Pepper. I gotta tell you, um, I, that, that is, it's one of my favorite things to drink on a hot day is Dr. Pepper. And growing up in the hay field, um, I, I, used to love, I used to love to drink soda when it was hot outside. But my memo had a different theory on hot days. And she would tell us that that's the worst thing you can drink on a hot day. As a matter of fact, she didn't like us to take sodas out to the hay field when we'd go out. She only allowed us to take a water jug out to the hay field. So Papa, we would, me and Papa and my Uncle Raymond would take a big jug of water out to the hay field. And I had a cousin, Johnny Trafford. There was one particular hay field that was over kind of by his house. And that was my favorite hay field to do. Because when we would be doing hay over there, uh, we always got a, a little treat and a little splurge. And he would, we would always have a, a, a soda break uh, when we were over there doing hay. And Johnny would, Johnny would come over and we would have a soda, a soda break. And he would bring us, it was Mountain Dew, it wasn't Dr. Pepper, but he'd bring us cold sodas and we'd get sitting in the, in the shade and drink soda. But we would never bring our own because Mamaw said we should drink water. Why? Because water's, uh, I mean, I guess a little bit better for your body than Dr. Pepper. And we should probably take care of our bodies. Why? Well, Paul said in the book of 1 Corinthians that our bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit. I mean, this is where... This is where the Holy Spirit of God dwells. We should take care of them. Now, obviously, if you were to look at my physique, you could tell that I'm probably not a shining picture of what it looks like to take care of your body. But at the same time, I don't, I don't beat it up, right? Because I've only got this one. And I'd like for it to last me a good, you know, 85, 90 years or so. Our bodies are the... Are, are the are, this is the body that God has given us to steward to do what he's called us to do during our time here. So it's just something to think about. Take care of this body so that you can do what God's called you to do as long as he's put you here to do it. Hey, I can't wait for you to see where we're gonna go on our next stop on the Tailgate Talk Tour. So you join us next week as we continue our journey across Texas. And uh, until then, I'm gonna save you a seat right here on the Tailgate. And uh, you have a great week, I love you. And I'll see you next time on the Tailgate Talk.